Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some uh, nice shiny uh, display text that uh, you can use for your titles on your websites or slideshows, uh, that sort of thing. Um, you can even use them in print materials, but generally better for on screen, but you know, that's kind of your choice. So, anyway, here's how you do it. First thing you do is you need some text, and you need it fairly big and bolded. I'm going to use Myriad Pro, um, and I'm going to do it at uh, uh, 60 point and bold. And uh, we'll just do Glaze Folio DB for our text. And that ought to work fine. Um, if that's not big enough for you, Certainly you can make it a little bigger. Uh, just hold shift and drag one of the corners down until it's the size that you want it. And I'm going to make it a little bigger so that you can see it on uh, on your screens there. Um, okay. Then uh, I'm going to kind of give it away right now. The trick of this is uh, clipping masks. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is make a shape. And I'll just take a square. And uh, you need to make sure that it's bigger than or as big as the text that you made. Since we're going to be uh, clipping it later. With our clipping mask, and what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, we're going to put a gradient on there, and we will use our gradient tool. Um, oh, wait, and if this gradient tool is not here, uh, as you saw, to put a gradient on there, I just clicked on the gradient while this was selected. If that's not there. Go up to Window, down to Gradient, and this uh, this will come up. And then uh, we'll go over to our toolbar and we'll select our gradient tool, and we want uh, the gradient going from top to bottom. And if you want it to be straight gradient, you can hold Shift. I think I want it to go the other direction, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to go like that. And what we'll do is, instead of using white here, let's use one of these uh, kind of gray colors. I'm going to use gray, 50% uh, gray. And you can just drag that right into your white on the, on the gradient. And I think I might want it even a little darker. Let's go ahead and do 8% gray. Okay. We'll just make it about like that. And then, uh, next thing that we'll do is we'll take a circle. And, uh, they call it an ellipse. Uh, and then we'll just make a shape about like this. And we're going to put it right over the top. About like that in, in there. Um, you can see that uh, since we're using a 50% gray, it's going to uh, let the bottom square there show through. So what we're going to do is instead of using the gray there, we're going to switch back to white. And um, oh, it looks like our opacity is zero. You need your opacity at 100%. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So if your opacity and your locations are both at 100%, you'll end up with something kind of like this. Um, that'll be that'll be fine. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll keep that as white. We're going to take our gradient tool and we're going to make the gradient on this one a little stronger. Um, Maybe something <coughs> something maybe about like this. Let's revisit that other square. <coughs> and since, <coughs> since we have it correct now, let's go ahead and uh, change our color to maybe a little bit of a lesser one. Maybe uh, something like that. Um, that was a... sixty percent gray okay so uh... like i said now all that we do is uh... we pretty much make our clipping paths clipping mask um, Just get these set the way that you want them. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch this around. 
yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make the dark at the top here is what I want. Something about, like... Something kind of like that would be good. And I'll make it a little darker. We'll just play around with the settings here. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so if you get something that looks kind of like that, that's about what you're, you're going for. Um, definitely play around with the settings a little bit and see what you can come up with. But uh, pretty much what you do is you come up with this. You uh, then can uh, make sure that your text is on the top. So you can go to Object, um, Arrange, Bring to Front, and that'll make sure your text is on top. And you just simply lay your text kind of where you won't think that you're going to want this shine to be on your text. So something kind of like that. And then what you do is you select all of them, and you can press uh, Control 7 or Apple 7 on a Mac. And uh, what it'll do is uh, you go to Object and uh, go to crypt, uh, that those uh, hotkeys will make clipping mask or you could uh, go to object down to clipping mask and make and uh, right there you have uh, your text <clears throat> with uh, a nice shine on it just like that and the reason that you use the clipping mask is because now you can still go in with your text tool and you can change the uh, the text in here so we'll change it to um, Uh, just glaze design or something like that, anything. And uh, and you can still change the text. <clears throat> so let's uh, we'll just change that back. DB. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. The the one other thing that you can certainly do is uh, make a copy of this with a you do a control C and a control V for a paste, and uh, you can make a nice shine under the bottom of it. And what you'll do is you go to Transform, ob Object at the top, Transform, and you'll do uh, Reflect. <coughs> and you want to select Horizontal and press OK. And that'll, uh, that'll make it so it reflects like that. And what you can do then is take a, a shape on your toolbar, a rectangle, and just make a, a nice rectangle over the, uh, the thing that you want to reflect that's down on the bottom there. And uh, then what you do is you go to your transparency, which is connected to your gradient there. So you can go to window, to transparency, and this should pop up somewhere. And you'll just double click on uh, this blank spot right here. And uh, that should create uh, the box that you just made. It'll, it'll create a mask if you have this clip here <clears throat> selected. So then what you'll do is you'll take your gradient tool and uh, you have to make sure that it's uh, selected. Okay, um, so what we'll do, sorry about that, you're going to need to make your box after you uh, make your clipping mask. So you you double click on there, uh, your reflection will disappear, and then you go ahead and make a box over where you want it to appear. And then uh, it should show up um, if you go to gradient and make a grad that box a gradient. Yeah, okay, so it does show up a little bit. <clears throat> there. Now, uh, wait. in order to make it reflect, you just use your gradient tool <clears throat> and you decide how much you want it to reflect. So maybe something kind of like maybe a little stronger. Something maybe kind of like that would be good. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll make it a little stronger just in case it's not showing up well on the on your computer screen. Here we go. Let's do it. Kind of like that. That should work. Okay. Um, if you need to move uh, your your mask, you can just click on the mask and arrow it up a little bit, and uh, that looks pretty good. So now I've showed you how to make nice shiny text and uh, kind of revisited an old tutorial of mine uh, to show you how to make it uh, a nice reflection, a nice shiny reflection on there. So uh, I hope you learned something and uh, please subscribe and uh, let me know what you think. Leave some comments, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.